I don't. Tons of people. I'm stuck here. turn to get through to Canada and I just want to say this video should land around the time that we have hit the one year mark of putting out our first video on YouTube so we would just want to say thank you to anybody um, everyone who's become a rambler who's watched the videos who's watching right now we appreciate you very much and if you haven't subscribed it would be great if you did it's free to subscribe and you would become a rambler uh, so that would be really nice if you're uh, interested in watching more videos hit notifications because we're going to hit Canada for 24 hours then we're going to do our first embarkation on a cruise ship to Alaska I finally got this guy here to go on a cruise with me he has said no for a long time <laughs> well we'll see well, we're not there yet well we'll have this conversation <laughs> when we get on the boat if I get on a boat you might be going on the boat by yourself made it through just had a little bit of a wait quick five easy questions Oops. <laughs> five easy questions and we are back on the road so we are in Canada right yeah we made it best place on earth yeah, we'll see we got a lot of bumps going through here I guess they really want you to go slow there yeah. we go so here starts the adventure we are gonna drive through the busy city and we are actually gonna hop over to a quieter section in Vancouver. We're gonna go to Vancouver North. Uh, we're just staying there for the night. It's only 20 minutes to our cruise terminal, so we're gonna stay there. And we're gonna show you some various areas of Canada and Vancouver, British Columbia to be more specific, and uh, do this in 24 hours. So we'll see how this goes. So the clock is ticking. Before we get this tour started, we check into the Holiday Inn, located in North Vancouver. We chose this hotel as it sits close to the areas we wish to visit. And from here, our first stop will be Lynn Canyon Park. Being such a beautiful summer day in July, the parking lot is full. So I slow down enough for Jody to jump out and take a closer look. Gotta be here early. Ron had to go look for a parking spot. He may not find one. So I'm gonna show you the suspension bridge, showed you the cafe. This place is amazing. You have to pay five or ten dollars to park. It's well worth it. This is great. So I called Ron, he still can't find a spot. Um, so I am walking down to where the plunges, the waterfall area and just showing what it's like here there's lots to do here so if you can get here early pay for parking you have a lot to do with the family so i'm really impressed so far with this the cafe was cute and it i love the sound of the creek rushing the waterfall um, that suspension bridge got busy so i have a feeling that it's usually packed so he's still driving around i'm gonna film a little bit more and if he doesn't have any luck then uh, luckily we got this to show Thank you. 
see everybody going across that suspension bridge from down here. And they have a view of the waterfall. So it looks like, it looks like I'm gonna have to suck it up and try to go across it real quick. Anybody who watches this who knows me, I'm scared of heights, don't like bridges, don't like shaky suspension bridges. It's my job to do this today, so we'll see. Um, I'm still hoping that he finds a spot. I'm just gonna head back up, try that suspension bridge for a moment so I can get a view of the fall. <laughs> Cross your fingers. He hasn't called back yet, so here I go. Here I go. Yeah, it's not good when they stop for somebody who doesn't like this. I don't. I'm just gonna look at the waterfall and probably turn around. <laughs> There's, looks like there's platforms over there and platforms over there and stairs and more of a trail to go to. And I'm probably gonna miss out on something cool, but I think this is about my limit. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. All right, I made it. This is crowded. I went halfway. I'm not going all the way because Ron's waiting for me. That's my excuse. I got to get back. But here's crowded. Tons of people. I got married at Bally. Long time ago. I'm stuck here. Here we go. Found my moment, maybe. Get out of here for a while. <laughs> no parking spot, huh? That's okay. <laughs> this place is crazy, isn't it? I'll just have you shag ass down the trail and get some pic get some pictures so I can take a look at it later. It did say get here early. Yeah, there was no parking. Ron yeah. tried forever. Um, but, I yeah, this is it's a madhouse. I did a little walking and hiking. I mean, you'll <laughs> see. I was like trying to do this as fast as I could. Yeah. Um, so I feel cheesy, we're gonna be honest, because we don't wanna act like we were here all day and to check this place out. Literally, I ran like crazy for 10 or 15 minutes to show everybody what this was about. But you can see people are still parking and walking from neighborhoods up above. This is actually the exit. This place was awesome. I feel so bad to say well, that. You know, we may go this, back in the morning, you know, just uh, Yeah, we might morning. go back in the morning maybe, but we have, we want to get to our cruise and have plenty of time and make sure everything goes well. I did it, we showed you, Ron was patient. He drove around in circles. It was packed, uh, but a very neat thing, probably because it's called Capilano, the other one is called Capilano Suspension Bridge. Capilano Suspension Bridge, I believe might be, I don't know, 20 or $30 a person. I haven't looked recently. I looked at it a while back. It has a whole bunch of suspension bridges and a bunch of treetops, and it's a really neat place, but you do pay for that, you know, to go do that. And somebody had mentioned to us when we were on a trip. Yeah, we met these nice fine folks there at the uh, Gold Dust Potato Farm, Antoine <laughs> and Alana. <laughs> they live up here in uh, Vancouver, BC. Yeah. And so yeah, she told us about that, and uh, and that's what we did. And then he told us about the brewery, and so that's what we will do. Oh yeah, it's it's going to be a tough you know. job, but he mentioned a brewery that's his favorite and, up and here. And the thing is, why why would you go anywhere else if someone if the locals actually recommend something, do it because. You know who are you to say otherwise so yep. let's see how it goes yeah so so it was great thank you so much Antoine and Alana for telling us uh, we were gonna come up here for a couple days but we had to change our plans so we only were coming up here for 24 hours uh, so we did what we could but we wanted to show it to people because that's a neat place and what, what was it called again Lynn Canyon Lynn can it was called Lynn Canyon suspension bridge so go look that up Lynn Canyon suspension bridge Ronald put some information out for it and that was a great neat little place so i we say go do it now we're heading on to the next place because we're going to show you lots of things you can do in 24 hours here in vancouver british columbia north north vancouver Bye. well we heard about the scenic drive here in canada called the sea to sky highway and decided to show that real quick it's just something nice to do cost you anything but gas but it's just beautiful and we wanted to kind of see a different area because we've never seen this before so this is the sea to sky highway highway 99 also known as the sea to sky highway goes from vancouver bc in the south to continue north up to whistler and points beyond 
We're just going as far north as Kelvin Grove Way, then turning back south to Vancouver. The Sea to Sky Highway would need a full day to explore and enjoy, so we will save that for another day in the future. We are showing you one of the places that are most popular to visit in Vancouver, British Columbia, and that is Stanley Park. Since we overshot our mark, we have time to talk about it as we drive through downtown to enter from the south. Stanley Park is located just north of downtown Vancouver. It has 27 kilometers of walking trails, several beaches, gardens, monuments, landmarks, scenic vistas, playgrounds, parks, sporting fields, and most important, a brewery. All right, we got parked. We we're in Stanley Park. Stanley Park has three, three sides of Stanley Park is water, believe it or not interesting and I was really shocked a thousand acres Stanley Park is a thousand acres it's huge it has an aquarium it has lots of biking paths lots of picnic tables it's a really nice area there's lots to do here I saw people golfing bike riding is huge here and right now we're gonna hit a brewery because we've had a long day we haven't eaten yet so it's time to just let's get a brewery go to the brewery let's go in here and then we'll go yeah. show you Stanley Park don't turn around because that guy has his wiener out are you joking no no are you serious? so does the lady she has her wiener out too the wiener dog. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was actually pretty good. Yeah. yeah, that was uh, that was a good beer and a good burger for a happy hour burger. Yeah, bonus with the bacon. But it was a good happy hour and it was yeah. good food and it was good service. Yeah. Great service. And what I was happy about was I realized I was like these beers aren't seven dollars. These beers are five dollars. I was like, oh, that's a good happy hour. And then when we're having our food, like when we're all done, it was like a $30 meal. So it was yeah. like kind of well, neat. Not to mention that the, the pints were proper pints. So it was oh. a 20 ounce pint. Right. So it wasn't a regular 16 ounce pint. It was a 20 ounce pint. For $5. Yep. So, yeah. so, that was so real very good. happy with the brewery. Great. So now we're still going to explore some of this thousand acre Stanley Park. So this is, this is where they do lawn bowling. I mean, everything is represented at this park. It's so big, but wow. Lawn bowling. bowling. And you can see how crazy it gets. <laughs> it's out of control. Get a six pack, head to the lawn. I don't know if you can even do that. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! say, biking is the thing to do at Stanley Park for sure. Yeah. Biking. <laughs> Everybody's out here biking. What do you think about Stanley Park so far? Oh, it's a nice park. It's a beautiful park. Huge. Not too many of them, you know, have waterfront like this. And, uh, you know, a lot of them, you know, from, you know, we got Forest Park in Portland, you know, then we've been to Central Park in New York. And this is unique. This is a different, uh, different style of park. Right. Real impressive. Yeah. Well, and then you've got, different ecology. you've got your nature trails, you've got your gardens, you've got your bikers, your runners, your walkers, your skateboarders, you got yeah. tennis, you got lawn bowling, yeah, the lawn aquarium. Bowling. <laughs> Those lawn bowling. Yeah, lawn right. Bowling. Everything. And then right here you see all the different ships coming in and sail, sailing and I saw some jet boats and just a little bit of everything. And then you can see the city from here. Oh, here's a, another plane coming through. Stanley Park also has 
three different beaches at least. Maybe even more than three, I can't remember, but I thought for some reason I saw three, but they have several different beaches that everybody can sit along and enjoy. And uh, here's one of them right here. I think it's called Beach Two, right here. See the sand? Look at that swimming pool too. Harvest Host in, where were we when we went to that Harvest Host? We were at uh, Gold Dust Potato Farms Gold Dust in Malin, Farm. Oregon, yeah. Yes, Gold Dust Potato Farms. They recommended this place here in Canada, so we're gonna check it out, because you know we gotta do it. So Bridge Brewery. Ron got out of going to another place. So yeah. this is close to our hotel. If you're stay at the Holiday Inn, this is a four minute drive or a 15 minute walk. This is five percent. So that's amazing. Without the bad things. Yeah. <laughs> All good. That's health drink. How'd that go? That went well. That was good. Those primetime beers were were pretty cool. They were a uh, a surprise. Yeah. Yeah, a definite surprise. Well, that guy the said to you, low carb. Yeah. Low carb, they weren't seltzers, they were actual beers, and they didn't taste like those Michelob Ultras or anything like that. They were good flavored. The only thing they were missing was the body, but the flavor was good. Yeah, it was really good, and I like the flavors of quite a few things. I was really happy with a couple of them. I like that bourbon, that orange. The blood. Blood the bourbon, orange. The bourbon blood orange. Oh, that was good. Wheat ale. Yeah, yeah, that was that one of my was, favorites. Yeah, that was a, a good one. That yep. had a heavy, heavy body to it, a good flavor. Yep, yep. it was good. We are leaving Bridge Brewing and uh, we went there because we're getting tired. <laughs> we're getting worn out. So we're going to go back to our hotel, show you there is a restaurant and a pub at our hotel and enjoy that a little bit and close out our night. We'll see you then. Island. I got the Granville Island Lager, honey lager. Mm. Very, very good. I knew I was gonna like it there. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Princess. I didn't make your dreams come true. Maybe next time we're in Canada. But this is good. Seymour's Pub was good. Good. We had uh, we had good local beers. We had the nachos. We had uh, we shared a sandwich. Good food. Real quick. Good service. Great service. Honestly. Yeah, Definitely the service is fantastic. Yeah. She's yeah. a sweetheart. I'm yeah. still so bad I didn't get her name. Her name was Bo. Yeah, Bo. Bo. Yeah, she came out and, yeah, she she's came out and awesome. said goodbye. She did. She waved <laughs> goodbye and came out and told us to have a good time on our cruise ship. So that's amazing service. To get service like that, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we did it. We got up, up early this morning. We got it all packed. We're ready to go. And look, we packed really light. <laughs> no, we didn't pack light. <laughs> That's a cop. Three cruise ships. Hold on. I mean, we're okay, right? I have to show them something else. Okay. Here we are. It's starting. We're in the corral. <laughs> it starts quickly. It was organized. It was just new for us. 
but I heard this is I heard rumors that this might be better than Seattle's check-in so that's why we decided to do this too we'll see you. I've click like and hit the bell icon to be notified of our next video of us drinking and walking around on a boat